Welcome back everybody. Thank you for watching another video. Now if you own a serrated knife and you've somehow damaged the blade and you're wondering how do you repair it and sharpen it, well I got something for you today. We're going to be having a look at this sharpening rod from Schrade. And as always, if at the ending of the video you want to purchase this sharpening rod, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Let me get you guys a size reference here. Alright, you can see that when the rod is inside of the holder, shorter than a sharpie, diameter wise, you can see there. About the same diameter. Let me take out the rod. There is a look at it there. Alright, let's get this on the scale. Weighs almost nothing. 1.3 ounces. And that's almost as much as two AA batteries. Coming in at 1.7 ounces. So, lighter than two AA batteries. Now, if you've never used one of these, the idea is fairly simple. Let's pretend my knuckles are the serrations in your knife blade. You're just going to place it in the serration and either stroke up or down. Just make sure you go in one direction. I tend to feel that going up this way sets the angle and you can see it a little bit better. But if you feel comfortable going from top to bottom, go for it. Fairly easy idea. Now you're going to see rod sharpeners like this all over the internet and they're pretty much the same shape. It's tapered down to a fine point like this. And the reason it's shaped like this is it's supposed to give you the ability to sharpen different sizes of serrations. For example, here's my utility knife. You can see here that the serrations are very small versus my bread knife where the serrations are really big. And some of these are going to have a little groove cut into it right like that so you can sharpen fish hooks. What you're going to do is that hook then you're just going to kind of put it in here and either go that way or that way. But that's a nice little feature to have if you want to keep it in your tackle box. On to the main reason I'm making this video and that is to show you a close-up view of how rough this sharpening rod is. You can see it's pretty coarse and they don't really tell you online what the grid is. And it's very tough to tell from the pictures, but it's pretty rough. If you compare it to the Smith sharpening rod, which is a medium grit, 400 grit. Okay, you put them back to back, you'll be able to see the difference there. Right? So if this is a 400 on the bottom, this might be like a 280, I don't know, maybe a 300. But you can tell it's a lot rougher, so... I would only use this if I had to remove a lot of steel because maybe there's a chip in the blade or maybe I have an outdoor blade that I know I'm just going to keep sharpening that doesn't really need a fine polish because this is pretty coarse. Well, all right, guys, this has been your close-up look at the Schrade sharpening rod. Perfect for removing a lot of steel and repairing those serrated edges with chips on them. Well, all right, guys, that's the ending of the video. Remember, if you want to purchase this sharpening rod, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.